Hey internet, I'm Colorful Arnie and welcome back to Cave Story Plus. So today, we are going to teleport to the Egg Corridor. This is kind of the first official, like, world, I guess you could say. Cave Story is kind of interesting, it doesn't really have worlds. Ooh, green robot up here. Watch out for that little white fin moving back and forth down below. Its touch is as deadly as it gets. Indeed, that is instant death. Whoop, oh, I gotta get that- oh man, roof! Gotta get that life capsule, though. Also, I love that fanfare. Now I've got 9 health, which is still ex incredibly low. But you never get more than 50 in this game. Also, giant... Oh, no, I want EXP. There we go. Yeah, because the giant elephants give you quite a bit of EXP. Ow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, bugs. I feel like I'm taking this very fast. Okay. Please level me up. No, yeah! Max level Polar Star! Now the blasts are huge and deal a lot more damage. And it's got even more range than level 2. <laughs> also, you can notice I'm still kind of leveling it up. Once it gets to max level 3, it, that just means it's harder for it to level down. Like, if you barely have it at level 3, taking any damage will make it down level. Ooh, now that's something you don't see every day. It's a rabbit in a sweater and a rabbit in a business suit that is, like, enormous and evil. There you are, you monster! You don't scare me! Roar! What? You want some of this? Take your best shot. Even my big brother's never beaten me. Ouch! You got me! Sorry! I'm sorry! Ah... Yeah, I didn't think you were gonna make it out of that fight. Huh? Who are you? Ack! Uh, that, that's not normal. And my guy just stood there and did nothing. What the heck? And no, this is not a blind let's play. I've played for this game many times. I've even gotten all... All the endings. There are three endings in this game. There's a bad ending, a normal ending, and then the golden ending. The golden ending's really hard to get, but I'm gonna go for that. Hey, this is highly unusual. You're a soldier from the surface, are you not? Where's your blonde pal? What? You lost your memory? <laughs> Interesting. So we just learned a little bit more about our character. Apparently, we've got a blonde friend that's normally supposed to be with us, and we have memory loss. Kind of a cliche, I know, but it's well done. All right, now, okay, guess we're going back. I want that health pack. There we go. And we obtained a life capsule. Now we got 13 HP. Oh yeah, because that one increased it by four. Life capsules don't always increase it by the same amount. So because it increased it by 4, we have 13 HP as opposed to 12. Actually, to be honest, I don't really know why I'm killing all these guys. Oh no, oh no, oh that's bad! And that's what happens if you touch that thing. That's why I saved after getting that health pack. This is what I'm talking about. Save often, because if you die, you go back to the last time you saved. And there's a lot of instant death in this game. Not to the same extent as Mighty Number no. 9, but it's up there. Actually, why am I even going after the experience? I have max level gun, and I only have one of them. Also, be on the lookout for those eggs at the bottom, because some of them you can enter. Like that one, egg number 6. <sighs> Whoosh! And inside. Treasure chest. And we get an ID card. That is going to come in handy. Very, very soon. It seems like there's just a lot of random junk lying around, but trust me, this stuff all has a purpose. Actually, not all the items have a purpose. Some of them is just like, oh yeah, you get that item, you get an achievement in the game. Actually, there are quite a few of those items. One of them literally just exists to unlock Curly's story. We'll get into that a bit later. 
Oh, I won. Oh, yeah, those big bugs take quite a few shots to kill. But if you've got a max level gun, that's not too big of a problem. All right. Let's go in here. The egg observation room. Flying dragon egg number eight. Egg status normal. All of the ones that are, have a green screen, are, they're all normal egg status. Ooh, red screen. Flying dragon egg number six. Error. Egg status abnormal. Examine fervor. That's the one we found the ID card in. Then flying dragon egg number one. Egg status abnormal. Examine fervor. Okay, then. But yeah, you, you remember that egg we just entered with the ID card? There was nothing inside it beside that. Certainly no flying dragon. Open the treasure chest, and we get the missile launcher. This is our second gun of the game. The missile launcher is a powerful weapon, but it has limited ammo. Collect additional ammunition from fallen enemies. So yeah, we only have 10 missiles at our disposal. It's basically the missile launcher. Oh wait, I gotta save. Or I should say I want to save. There's a note here. I can't really get any closer to the observation room because of the shield. There should be a terminal that can remove the shield somewhere. Red flower petals litter the floor. Some beds you can sleep in, which gives you full HP. Also, now what we're going to do is I'm going to be killing enemies of the Polar Star, but then collecting the experience with the missile launcher. Because I don't really want to have to use the missile launcher unless I have to. You can quick switch between weapons uh, with the controls, which is very nice. Oh. The missile launcher is really not even that great at level 1, by the way. Like, it's okay. Oh! Oh! I'm going back for that experience. Because those large, those larger chips are worth much more experience than the small ones. Oh, come on, bug! If you're going to be a pest... Okay, he's not. He's just going to hang out there. That's cool. Alright, this looks like another level. Nope, not quite. But yeah, you'll notice enemies are now dropping missiles. So that's really the main way you get back am ammunition. Also, the uh, health computers now will also give you full ammo. And we can go into flying egg number one, which also had an abnormal status. You'll notice there's a computer in here. We insert the ID card, and we can remove the shield. If you don't have the ID card, it will not remove the shield. So now we can actually go forward again. Cave store is full of these little puzzles like that. Now I got a max level missile launcher, so I should probably go over what the level 2 missile... So the level 1 missile launcher literally just shoots a missile forward. The level 2 one, it shoots a single missile forward and it makes a big explosion when it hits something, so it's more powerful. And then the level 3 missile launcher, it shoots like 3 missiles with one blast, but it only still takes one missile to do that, so that's cool. Time for the first official boss fight, if you don't count the Balrog one, which is optional. Grrr! Professor's very important test eggs! Very important! Won't let anyone near them! I'll shot the missile launcher. So yeah. But the Polar Star in this case is more powerful because it's rapid fire. And he shrunk in size when we defeated him. Interesting. Defeated Igor. Igor is a good name for that guy. But yeah, you'll notice he's now a Mimiga. It's like he was mutated or something. Let's go in here. Egg number zero. Interesting. Ugh. Ouch. Whoa there! I haven't lost yet! I'm gonna take it serious now! Huh? I got knocked out by that monster? Did you save me? Yeah, I did. This is none of your business. Well, thanks for that. I can take care of myself. No, you couldn't. You got beaten up by Igor. I hate this island and every living thing on it. Oh, this. This must be it. Egg number zero. We can get off the island with this egg. Egg condition is normal. Awesome! Hmm? Huh? A password? It looks like I need a password to hatch this egg. Meh. If my big brother were here, he'd fix everything. There's nothing to do here. I guess I'm out. Um, are you from this island? You don't seem like you are. The letters on your cap aren't from here. Maybe you're lost? Fine. I'll let you come with me. We can get off this island together if you want. But in return, you're gonna have to help me. 
So Sue, not a big fan of her at the beginning of the game, but she gets some character development. Egg, flying egg number zero, hatching preparations complete, input password. Unfortunately, we don't know the password. Now we can go in here. Yeah, I'll show you. Life and missiles refilled. Very nice. Wee. Might as well spend the rest of the time level maxing out the missile launcher. Hi there. There we go. Yeah, you you may have noticed while I was taking damage, the polar stars level uh, went down a little bit. Like, it didn't drop a whole level, but, like, its meter went down. It was no longer max. Hi, bugs! Yeah, you know what? I might as well save. Especially if you're playing on normal mode when fiends hurt a lot more. Saving's important. I can't stress that enough. During my first attempted recording of this game, I actually lost... Or, no... I died in the cemetery to, fro to the uh, frog ninja, I, be I believe, and I ended up having to do the Balrog fight again, so I showed off what happened. If you said no, that did not happen this time, though. Stupid bug. Thankfully, unlike Mega Man, things don't respawn if you leave, uh, if you just walk off screen. If you go to a different room, that they then they respawn, but you can s leave the screen. <laughs> hey. Also, a few tricky jumps in this game, especially if you're going after the golden ending. Oh man, things get hard if you're going after that. <laughs> Fins go to hell, quite literally. Alright, back to the beginning. Let's go back to Mamiga Village. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting IM chat. Kazuma? Are you there? Are you okay? Sue? Is that really you, Sue? Yeah, it's me. Sue Sakamoto, your sis. So, you were able to escape too? Where are you at now? I found the dragon eggs. Is mom with you? The door is jammed and I can't get out of here. I'm still in a shelter looking sort of room. By the way, the code that you need to teleport is Bushlands. Try searching from your end. And no, Mom isn't with me. I'm afraid she still might be with the doctor. Are any of the flying dragon eggs ready to hatch yet? I found one that's almost ready to hatch, but it's locked up with a password. Can we do something about that? Retrieving information for Kazuma. Complete. Location Bushland structure, Structures D. Currently searching for functional teleporters. Teleporter preparing connection with Bushlands. Anyhow, I'm on my way to go help you. Just stay right there. Roger that! And do me a favor, bring some food back on your way- Sue user Sue has disconnected. Ah. Is that boy ready yet? Welcome back. I've been waiting. Now what? I'm busy. Taroko has been taken to the doctor. What? And we're holding you responsible for this. Let go of me! Oh, well, this isn't good. Welcome back. Sue has returned. We locked her up inside a cage up top of the village. When the doctor's gang comes, we'll give him Sue in exchange for Taroko. I feel bad for Sue, but Taroko, she's one of us. We don't need someone like Sue who only thinks of herself and no one else. Well, that's harsh, but I can see where they're coming from. Exchange of hostages. Let me out of here now! Shut up! Taroko was taken by mistake because of you. One way or another, I'm handing them over. To, I'm handing you over to them. I hate you. If Taroko isn't safe, I'm gonna tear you apart. 
So Kane seems extremely aggressive and pretty jerkish, but he's really just trying, like, his village has been reduced to just about nobody now, and he's just trying to stop it from happening. Also, I'm not sure, but Taroko might be his younger sister, in which case that explains his behavior a lot more. This is what happens to those who defy the order of the village. Also, so that little, like, black... So he's got the little scratch, but, like, in between his eyes. Beneath that, there's, like, the black spot. Is that his open mouth? Or is that just a spot? I don't know. Because I never really pictured King to be the type who smiles. I've been caught. The doctor's men mistook another Mimiga for me and kidnapped her instead. That girl, Taroko, she treated me so well when I had trouble getting used to everything. I have an idea. You can go in my place. My brother Kazuma is stuck in an area called Bushlands. Bring him back here. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Anyway, where's the, what's the fisherman have to say about all this? I actually did not check this before. Rip. Sue? Yeah, Sue! The cute girl. Oh, yeah. Alright, you don't say anything different. Waste of my time. Do, 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 do. I love the remastered soundtrack oh so much. Oh, I hope Taroko isn't hurt. Well, connecting connection with Bushlands complete. Well then, let's go to the Bushlands. I don't know what my accent was there. I'm sorry about that. Hope I didn't offend anyone. And welcome to the Bushlands, the second world, kind of. Hello! My name is Santa! Ho ho ho! I went to get some water and was attacked by those monsters, so I ran back home, but I dropped my key on the way back. Now I can't get into my own home. Can you go down the chimney? Your house doesn't even have a chimney! Come on, Santa! Oh, I see that guy up there. So Bushlands introduces us to some interesting gimmicks. A lot of them I'm not a fan of, but we'll get into that later. Oh, you're a soldier from the surface? Hasn't the war ended already? No matter. If you want to venture any further, be mindful of those big blue critters. They'll try to crush you. So, as it turns out, I'm a soldier. Apparently I came from some place called the surface. And I was fighting in a war, apparently? Well, obviously, if I was a soldier. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You'll see there. I leveled down because I took a ton of damage. Now I've got to get back to max. Okay. Also, I had 1 HP at that point, so that's cool. 1 HP again. Okay. Yeah, the enemies of the Bushlands deal a lot more damage than the enemies in the Egg Corridor. Also, they're harder to dodge because they move in weirder patterns. Stupid. Alright, well, great, now I'm back down to level 1 point. Man, I stink. Alright, let's just get Santa's key and go back to his house. And there's a free on it. Interesting. Yeah, as you can see, this game's dangerous. I almost died, like, three times there. Oh, that's the key to my house! Returned Santa's key. Thank you! Please come over. I have something nice for you. It's a present for your stocking. Sorry, I've got Christmas on my mind. Danger! This trap is instant death. Use extreme caution. Santa, why do you have an instant death trap in your house? Thanks again for the help earlier. I'd like to give you something. And we get the fireball, the third gun of the game. Are you looking for someone? I haven't seen anyone around here. But if you plan on going further in, you'll need to get through the fireplace inside Chaco's house. It's pronounced Chaco, I think. Flames billow. Chaco burns in Santa's fireplace. Isn't that ironic? Santa's got coal burning in his fireplace, but he doesn't have a chimney, so this house is just filling up with smoke. Do you want to rest? Well, why not? Life refilled. Not missiles, but life. Alright, yeah, so we'll get more into the fireball in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, and we will be exploring more of the bushlands next time. Have a great day, and God bless.